about you all, but I am officially done with 2020. I just feel like I can't do it anymore. I am exhausted by the whole year and I feel like it's time to move on. It's time to start looking toward the future. It's time to start looking toward 2021 and it's officially time to start a new bullet journal. I am so excited to be making this video and starting a new journal. This is the Amanda Rachel Lee dotted journals. I think it's just what they're called. This is my first video bullet journaling on the internet. However, this is actually going to be my third year bullet journaling. And I feel like I've tested things out over the last two years and given myself time to really learn about bullet journaling, but also learn which spreads and what style really works best for me. So I'm really excited to be sharing that with the internet now. And I get so much inspiration from YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, all, all the socials. So I felt like it was finally time for me to start showing my own bullet journal, my own style, and maybe giving some of you all inspiration. Bear with me, this is my first video. I didn't know how to film this at all, but I promise the second video and forward will only get better. I am also starting an Instagram account specifically for bullet journaling. My best friend Janae and I are actually doing it together. It's called Scribbles in, like the letter N, spreads. And I will link it down below if you want to follow it. Janae had the best idea for the year. We are each going to follow the same overarching theme and then see where each other takes it and post all the fun content there. But with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started with my 2021 setup in my brand new Amanda Rach Lee journal. So like I said in the intro, I am super excited to be starting a new bullet journal this year and I'm really excited that it is an Amanda Rachel Lee journal. I have been watching her for years and she actually is who inspired me to really get into bullet journaling. So I'm really excited for her and happy that I get to use one of her products. The theme that I really wanted to go with for 2021 actually came to me via my favorite artist, Ariana Grande. I am a huge Ariana stan and have been for years back to the yours truly days. When the Thank You Next album came out, a lot of people joined Team Ariana, but I have been there since the beginning. And in her new album that just came out, there is a song called just like magic and that song really spoke to me so much. I listen to it almost every day. It hypes me up, it gives me the motivation that I need to get through a day and to try to keep myself positive and motivated. So I really wanted to use that as a overarching theme for 2021. So my official theme is just like magic, however. It's really just making everything look magical, adding little stars and twinkles and things to really make it pop, but still keep it super neutral because I wanted my 2021 setup to still be pretty neutral so it can not overpower other themes throughout the rest of the year and because i'm pretty positive i'm gonna have to switch to a new journal midway through the year so i wanted to stick to something that i knew i would like in six months when you open up the amanda rach lee dotted journal the very first dotted page does start on the right of the book however i wanted to use the left side to make a key I don't technically need a key, but in 2020 I did add some things to my key and I feel like it just looks nice. So I decided to stick with making one and make it one cohesive page. A big thing that I recently learned about lettering, specifically calligraphy, is you can do calligraphy with any type of utensil. Well, writing utensil. I actually recently did a little workshop class about calligraphy and what I learned is that you can write your letters how you normally would or the cursive or calligraphy style that you're going for. And then you can go in to whatever side is supposed to be heavier and draw an extra line or block on that side and color it in. So then that way you have the thickness of the downstroke. That's pretty much the theme you're gonna see throughout this entire setup. I stuck with 
my, it's really pretty much my normal cursive, but a little, a little more fancy in places for sure. And then I went in on the downstrokes and made that part of each letter thicker to give you that calligraphy vibe without using a calligraphy pen. I typically use a Sharpie pen and really I just like it. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. And I like that it's easily accessible. It's easy to find in stores and you don't have to go to a specific craft store to find it. So after making my key, I then wrote 2021 on the right side of the notebook and I decided to write it out in cursive. Then I went in and made this page kind of come to life and add some magic to it. My idea was basically just to have the look of like magic floating around the page that carries from the key side to the 2021 side. And I just used different size pens to make the dots. So I used a .05 pen, I used a .1 pen, and I used a Sharpie pen to make the dots. And then I went in and added some stars and a little bit of thicker dots to just really make it a little more magical. Then the only other thing I did on these pages was go in with a light gray Crayola tips marker and add some shadows to the lettering. And of course I had to add some washi tape just for fun at the end, which finishes up this first spread of 2021. On the next page, I had to add the grid spacing page. Now, to be honest, I did not have it in my 2020 setup. I had it in my 2019 journal, but I never used it. So I decided not to do it for 2020. However, I am bringing it back for 2021. I feel like this is my last go around with it. If I don't use it this time, then I probably will never have it again, but for whatever reason, I just kind of forget that it's there and I just count out the dot spaces when I'm making my weekly spreads. And I do know that using this grid spacing cheat sheet is a lot easier, so I'm hoping that I do use it this year. But I guess you all will really see if I use it in my 2022 setup if it makes the cut for that year. On the other side, I decided to do a little quote page. I really wanna do a lot of quote pages this year. I did a few in my very first bullet journal, and then I did absolutely none in my 2020 journal, but I wanna bring them back. I think they're so fun and just give you extra time and space to be creative. So with this one, I decided to just do Just Like Magic as the quote from the Ariana Grande song. I'm hoping that I can use other quotes from the song throughout the rest of the year. That's my goal, but we will see if that happens. And then again, I added the little magic fairy dust, we'll call it, going across both pages, added some gray shadows and a little bit of washi tape on the grid spacing page. And that finishes up the second spread for 2021. Next up is my year at a glance spread. I kind of combined the year at a glance and future log spreads. I did this exact same setup for 2020 and I had every intention of using it because I did not use my one in 2019. And I used it for the first like three months of 2020. However, COVID really, uh, really did a number on some things in my bullet journal that just didn't get used and this was one of them. So I'm really, really gonna try to use this throughout 2021. I have a lot of faith in myself, so we'll see what happens. I decided to leave this page pretty blank in terms of extra doodles or magic going on just because I am gonna be writing under each calendar what important things that are going on throughout the year that I need to remember. So I wanted to leave as much empty space as possible. I did fill out all of the numbering for each individual month, but I did it off camera. So you'll see it in the final flip through. Next up is a new spread for me. It is a mood board spread. I saw it on someone's 2021 setup about a week ago. I cannot remember the creator's name, but I will link her video down below. And I thought it was such a good idea to have a little mood board inside of my bullet journal. So I wanted to add this one in. I'm not gonna be filling out the mood board in this video. However, if you all want me to make another video where you see how I set up the mood board in my 2021 journal, just let me know down in the comments below. 
The next page is my goals page for 2021. I'm not gonna actually fill this out on camera because some of my goals are, you know, a little more personal and things that I wanna keep to myself, but you can still get the idea from the spread. I do like to have a word of the year every year and I have not picked out my word for 2021 yet. So if you have any really good ideas, shoot them my way. Last year I did the word action and in 2019 I did manifest. I am kind of in a manifest vibe, but I can't, I feel like I can't do the same word again. So maybe something along those lines, but I will definitely have it picked out before the beginning of the year. This next spread is one that I have really struggled with the past two years. I initially saw it on Amanda Rach Lee's, I think 2019 setup. It's just a, a travel spread, we'll say, and it is titled Places I've Visited. I did it on just a half spread the last few years, and it's just not enough space because I like to write in a specific memory or something that happens on each trip I go on, and I just felt so limited space-wise, so I decided to make it a full two-page spread and see if that really turns out better for me. Although, I did not really use my 2021 very much because of COVID. I am feeling super hopeful that I'm gonna get to fill out this one for 2021. I decided just to leave the header on this, on this spread because I didn't want to limit myself again by putting boxes or specific columns for the spread. So I'm hoping I can like print out some little photos and places that I go and have like specific spots to put little special memories or things from each trip that I get to go on this year. I'm hoping this is gonna turn into more of like almost like a mood board situation, but with things that I actually have done throughout the year and be just a little more free form instead of so structured if that makes sense so i added some little magic magic fairy dust we're still calling it on the sides of the header and that's it for this spread and my last spread that i also got from amanda Rachelie that i've been doing for the past few years and it's my absolute favorite setup for the year spread is my year in polaroids this is the one spread that i'm always super diligent about feel filling out. I really love it. I lo really love to look through it and it's been so cool for me to look back at my one from 2019 and even from 2020 just to see some happy, fun, specific memories from the year. I do always put pictures at the end of each month as well from that specific month, but I like just having the one at the front to look through. I really love this spread so much and the vibe that it really brings to the beginning of the year setup. I decided to keep it pretty simple. I might add some more washi tapes or doodles to the spreads after I put the photos in or maybe some craft paper. But for now, I just wanted to keep it super simple. I did take up four full pages for the spread, but I ended up finishing it off camera because my camera died. And that's it for my 2021 setup. Now let's take a look at the final flip through. so much for watching this video and bearing with me on my first attempt at filming my bullet journal setup and I hope you guys can get some inspiration 
from this video. Definitely go follow Janae and I's Instagram down below. I will leave the link. We're really excited to start posting stuff on there. Also, I really have been thinking about doing a review once I maybe use this for like a month or so on this journal and compared to an Archer and Olive. So let me know if that's something you guys want to see. I do have some thoughts already on which one I like better or which one's better, like a better bang for your buck. So let me know if you guys want to see something like that down below. Let me know if you all have any really good theme ideas for Janae and I to do throughout the rest of the year. January and December are the only ones set in stone at the moment. We have some other ideas that that we're definitely thinking about, but I would love to hear what you all maybe wanna see or if you have some really fun ideas, definitely throw them my way. I'm really excited to be bringing my January plan with me very soon to this channel. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more new bullet journal stuff and some fun lifestyle stuff in between. And with that, I'll see you guys for my January plan with me. Bye.